Glutinous rice, Oriza sativa var. Glutinosa, also called sticky rice, sweet rice or waxy rice, is a type of rice grown mainly in Southeast and East Asia and the eastern parts of South Asia, which has opaque grains, very low amylose content, and is especially sticky when cooked. While it is widely consumed across Asia, it is only a staple food in northeastern Thailand and Laos. It is called glutinous Latin, glutinosis, in the sense of being glue-like or sticky, and not in the sense of containing gluten, which it is not. While often called sticky rice, it differs from non-glutinous strains of japonica rice which also become sticky to some degree when cooked. There are numerous cultivars of glutinous rice, which include japonica, indica and tropical japonica strains. History in China, glutinous rice has been grown for at least 2,000 years. Cultivation Glutinous rice is grown in Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, Myanmar, Nepal, Bangladesh, Northeast India, China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and the Philippines. An estimated 85% of Lao rice production is of this type. The rice has been recorded in the region for at least 1,100 years. The improved rice varieties in terms of yield, adopted throughout Asia during the Green Revolution were non-glutinous, and Lao farmers rejected them in favor of their traditional sticky varieties. Over time, higher yield strains of glutinous rice have become available from the Lao National Rice Research Program. By 1999, more than 70% of the area along the Mekong River Valley were of these newer strains. Composition Glutinous rice is distinguished from other types of rice by having no or negligible amounts of amylose and high amounts of amylopectin, the two components of starch. Amylopectin is responsible for the sticky quality of glutinous rice. The difference has been traced to a single mutation that was selected for by farmers. Like all types of rice, glutinous rice does not contain dietary gluten, i.e., does not contain glutenin and gliadin, and should be safe for gluten free diets. Glutinous rice can be used either milled or unmilled, that is, with the bran removed or not removed. Milled glutinous rice is white and fully opaque, unlike non glutinous rice varieties, which are somewhat translucent when raw, whereas the bran can give unmilled glutinous rice a purple or black color. Black and purple glutinous rice are distinct strains from white glutinous rice. In developing Asia, there is little regulation, and some governments have issued advisories about toxic dyes being added to color adulterated rice. Both black and white glutinous rice can be cooked as discrete grains, or ground into flour and cooked as a paste or gel. Use in foods Sticky rice is used in many recipes throughout Southeast and East Asia. Assamese Sticky rice called borasal is the core component of Assamese sweets, snacks, and breakfast. This rice is widely used in the traditional sweets of Assam, which are very different from the traditional sweets of India whose basic component is milk. Such traditional sweets in Assam are pitha, narakular pitha, til pitha, gila pitha, tel pitha, kettle pitha, etc. Also, its powder form is used as breakfast or other light meal directly with milk. They are called pitha guri, if powder was done without frying the rice, by just crushing it after soaking, or hando guri, if rice is dry fried first, and then crushed. The soaked rice is also cooked with no added water inside a special kind of bamboo, called sunga sal bi na. This meal is called sungasal. During religious ceremonies, Assamese people make mithoi, kesa mithoi and poka mithoi, using gnud with it. Sometimes bhog, payok and kheer are also made from it using milk and sugar with it. Different Assamese communities make rice beer from it which is preferred more than other rice, as it is sweeter and more alcoholic. They also offer this beer to their gods and ancestors, demi-gods. Rice cooked with it is also taken directly as lunch or dinner on rare occasions. Bangladeshi In Bangladesh, especially in the Chittagong, Cox's Bazaar and Silhet areas, the sticky rice called bani don unhusked sticky rice, is very popular. Both white and pink varieties are cultivated at many homestead farms. 
Husked sticky rice is called bani choil chow, in some dialects. Boiled or steamed bani choil is called bani bot. With meat or fish curry and grated coconut, bani bot is a popular breakfast. Sometimes it is eaten with a splash of sugar, salt, and coconut only without any curry. Bin don also used to make koi pop rice like popcorn and cheetah bitten husked rice. A part of these many other sweet items made of bani choil are popular. One of the favorite pitas made of bani choil is a tikka pita pita, it is made with a mixture of cubed or small sliced coconut, sugar or brown sugar, ripe banana and bani choil wrapped with banana leaf and steamed. Another delicacy is patishapta pita made of ground bani choil. Ground bani choil is sprayed over a hot pan and a mixture of grated coconut, sugar, milk powder, then ghee is sprayed over that and rolled out. Dumplings made of powdered fried bani choil called laru. First bani choil is fried and ground into flour. This flour is mixed with sugar or brown sugar, and ghee or butter and is made into small balls or dumplings. One kind of porridge or kheer made of bani choil is called madu, honey bot. This madu bot becomes naturally sweet without mixing any sugar. It is one of the delicacies of local people. To make madu bot first prepare some normal patty or rice don, for germination by soaking it in the water for few days. After coming out of little sprout, dry the patty and husk and grind the husked rice called yala choil into flour. It tastes sweet. Mixing this sweet flour with freshly boiled or steamed warm bani bot and then fermenting the mixture overnight yields madu bot. It is eaten either on its own or with milk, jaggery or grated coconut. Burmese Glutinous rice, called khao nyan, is very popular in Myanmar, also known as Burma. Khao nyan bong, is a breakfast dish with boiled peas pebayuk, or with a variety of fritters, such as urad dal, baya giav, served on a banana leaf. It may be cooked wrapped in a banana leaf, often with peas, and served with a sprinkle of salted toasted sesame seeds and often grated coconut. The purple variety, known as Khao Hainan Nashek, is equally popular cooked as Nashek Pong. They may both be cooked and pounded into cakes with sesame called HKAW Book, another favorite version in the north among the Shan and the Kachin, and served grilled or fried. The Tamane Pui Festival t takes place on the full moon of Dabadwe, February, when Tamane is cooked in a huge wok. Two men, each with a wooden spoon the size of an oar, and a third man coordinate the action of folding and stirring the contents, which include cow nyan, nashek, coconut shavings, peanuts, sesame and ginger in peanut oil. Cht amin, has glutinous rice cooked with turmeric and onions in peanut oil, and served with toasted sesame and crisp fried onions, it is a popular breakfast like khao nyan bong and nashek pong. Pong din, or khao hyan ki tok, has another ready-to-eat portable form cooked in a segment of bamboo. When the bamboo is peeled off, a thin skin remains around the rice and also gives off a distinctive aroma. Montlet coke is made from glutinous rice flour. It is donut shaped and fried like baya gia, but eaten with a dip of jaggery or palm sugar syrup. Na paya dao, or khao hainan h tope. Banana in glutinous rice, wrapped in banana leaf and steamed and served with grated coconut. Another favorite snack, like khao nyan bong and montlet coke, sold by street hawkers. Mont Lon Yei Ba are glutinous rice balls with jaggery inside, thrown into boiling water in a huge wok, and ready to serve as soon as they resurface. Their preparation is a tradition during Thingyan, the Burmese New Year festival. Htoe Mont, glutinous rice cake with raisins, cashews and coconut shavings, is a traditional dessert for special occasions. It is appreciated as a gift item from Mandalay. China in the Chinese language, glutinous rice is known as nuomi, nuomi or chut, tibai, shumi in Hokkien. Glutinous rice is also often ground to make glutinous rice flour. This flour is made into niangao and sweet-filled dumplings tangyan, both of which are commonly eaten at Chinese New Year. It also used as a thickener and for baking. Glutinous rice or glutinous rice flour are both used in many Chinese bakery products and in many varieties of dim sum. 
they produce a flexible, resilient dough, which can take on the flavors of whatever other ingredients are added to it. Cooking usually consists of steaming or boiling, sometimes followed by pan frying or deep frying. Sweet, glutinous rice is eaten with red bean paste. Nuomi fan, Nuomi fan is steamed glutinous rice usually cooked with Chinese sausage, chopped Chinese mushrooms, chopped barbecued pork, and optionally dried shrimp or scallop. The recipe varies depending on the cook's preference. Zongzi, traditional Chinese zongzi, zongzi simplified Chinese zongzi, is a dumpling consisting of glutinous rice and sweet or savory fillings wrapped in large flat leaves, usually bamboo, which is then boiled or steamed. It is especially eaten during the Dragon Boat Festival, but may be eaten at any time of the year. It is popular as an easily transported snack, or a meal to consume while traveling. It is a common food among Chinese in Hong Kong, Singapore and Malaysia. Sifangao, traditional Chinese si fangao, simplified Chinese si fangao, is a popular breakfast food originating in eastern China consisting of cooked glutinous rice compressed into squares or rectangles, and then deep fried. Additional seasoning and ingredients such as beans, zha kai, and sesame seeds may be added to the rice for added flavor. It has a similar appearance and external texture to hash browns. Sifantuan, traditional Chinese si fan tuan, simplified Chinese si fan tuan, is another breakfast food consisting of a piece of yudiao tightly wrapped in cooked glutinous rice, with or without additional seasoning ingredients. Japanese onigiri resembles this Chinese food. Lo mai gai, nuo mi ji is a dim sum dish consisting of glutinous rice with chicken in a lotus leaf wrap, which is then steamed. It is served as a dim sum dish in Hong Kong, Singapore, and Malaysia. Ba bao fan, ba bao fan or eight treasure rice, is a dessert made from glutinous rice, steamed and mixed with lard, sugar, and eight kinds of fruits or nuts. Hakka a distinctive feature of Hakka cuisine is its variety of steamed snack-type buns, dumplings and patties made with a dough of coarsely ground rice, or ban. Collectively known as rice snacks, some kinds are filled with various salty or sweet ingredients. Common examples of rice snacks made with ban from glutinous or sticky rice and non-glutinous rice include aban, mugwort patty, kabao, turnip bun, this turnip is not the western turnip. The proper name is yam bean. In Mandarin Chinese, it is known as dushu, do shu or liang shu, liang shu ziba, sticky rice balls, and bantiao, mianpaban or flat rice noodles. Aban encompasses several varieties of steamed patties and dumplings of various shapes and sizes, consisting of an outer layer made of glutinous ban dough filled with salty or sweet ingredients. It gets its name from the aromatic eye grass, mugwort, which after being dried, powdered and mixed with a ban, gives the dough a green color and an intriguing tea-like taste. Typical salty fillings include ground pork, mushrooms, and shredded white turnips. The most common sweet filling is made with red beans. Kabao is a generic term for all types of steamed buns with various sorts of filling. Hakka-style kebao are distinctive in that the enclosing skin is made with glutinous rice dough in the place of wheat flour dough. Besides ground pork, mushrooms and shredded turnips, fillings may include ingredients such as dried shrimp and dry fried shallot flakes. Ziba is glutinous rice dough which, after steaming in a big container, is mashed into a sticky, putty-like mass from which small patties are formed and coated with a layer of sugary peanut powder. It has no filling. Filipino In the Philippines, glutinous rice is known as malakit, literally, sticky. In Tagalog, cognate to Malay malakit, milled glutinous rice is known as galapong. Milling, that is, washing and soaking the rice first, and then proceeding to milling is generally preferred. This removes the powdery texture found in glutinous rice that has been dried first and milled as flour. Glutinous rice cooked in coconut or banana leaf wrappers are steamed to produce suman, of which there are many varieties depending on the region. Some of the common toppings are bukaya, grated mature coconut cooked in sugar, coconut jam, and freshly grated coconut. Some regions eat suman as a snack with ripe mangoes or bananas. In suman salihia, lye, the rice grains are treated with a solution of lye and dried. 
The grains are put into a banana leaf cone or coconut leaf wrapper and steamed. The rice may be mixed with sugar, coconut milk, or other grains such as millet. Maladkid is also used in puto, or steamed rice cakes, of which numerous variations exist. Babinka is a general term for sweet rice cake, which is mainly glutinous rice cooked with coconut milk. Babinka is often associated with the Philippine Christmas season. Another common Philippine Christmas tradition includes puto bumbong, a suman-like sweet dish steamed in special containers with bamboo tubes, and served with butter, grated coconuts, sugar, and sometimes toasted sesame seeds. Puto bumbong traditionally uses a special heirloom variety of glutinous rice called pirurutong, which has a naturally purple color. Another traditional Filipino sweet snack similar to Japanese mochi is called palatao. Glutinous rice is also used in gruel-like dishes such as champarado, which is cooked with cocoa powder and sweetened. Milk is usually added, and tuyo is served with it as a counterpoint. Luga, gotu, and arroz caldo, are all variants of rice porridge dishes, featuring glutinous rice mixed with regular rice. Bilo bilo or benignit uses glutinous rice. It is a sweet thick soup made of coconut milk, jackfruit, sweet potatoes, plantain, sago pearls, and the bilo, or galapong shaped into balls. Indonesian Glutinous rice is known as baris ketan or simply ketan in Java and most of Indonesia, and pulut in Sumatra. It is widely used as an ingredient for a wide variety of sweet, savory or fermented snacks. Glutinous rice is used as either hulled grains or milled into flour. It is usually mixed with santan, meaning coconut milk in Indonesian, along with a bit of salt to add some taste. Glutinous rice is rarely eaten as a staple. One example is lemang, which is glutinous rice and coconut milk cooked in bamboo stem lined by banana leaves. Glutinous rice is also sometimes used in a mix with normal rice in rice dishes such as nasi tumpung or nasi tim. It is widely used during the Lebaran seasons as traditional food. It is also used in the production of alcoholic beverages such as tuak and brembali. Savory snacks Ketan, traditionally refers to the glutinous rice itself as well as sticky rice delicacy in its simplest form. The handful mounds of glutinous rice are rounded and sprinkled with grated coconut, either fresh or sautéed as surrounding. Katupat, square-shaped crafts made from the same local leaves as palas, but it is usually filled with regular rice grains instead of pulut, though it depends on the maker. Gandos, a snack made from ground glutinous rice mixed with grated coconut, and the fried. Lemang, wrapped in banana leaves and inside a bamboo, and left to be barbecued, grilled on an open fire, to make the taste and texture tender and unique. Lemper, cooked glutinous rice with shredded meat inside and wrapped in banana leaves, popular in Java. Nasi kuning, either common rice or glutinous rice can be made into ketan kuning, yellow rice colored with turmeric. Tumpung, glutinous rice can be made into tumpung nasi kuning, yellow rice colored by turmeric, and shaped into a cone. Sweet snacks Variety of cute glutinous rice flour is also used in certain traditional local desserts, known as kue, such as kue lapis. Bubor ketan hitam, black glutinous rice porridge with coconut milk and palm sugar syrup. Candle, glutinous rice flour cake with sugar and grated coconut. Dodal, traditional sweets made of glutinous rice flour and coconut sugar. Similar variants are wajik or wajit. Klapan, glutinous rice flour balls filled with palm sugar and coated with grated coconut. Lupus, glutinous rice wrapped in individual triangles using banana leaves and left to boil for a few hours. The rice pieces are then tossed with grated coconut all over and served with palm sugar syrup. Owned owned, glutinous rice flour balls filled with sweetened mung bean paste and coated with sesame similar with gin deui. Winko babbit, baked glutinous rice flour with coconut. Gemblong, white glutinous rice flour balls smeared with palm sugar caramel. In East Java, it was known as getas, except it's using black glutinous rice flour as the main ingredient. 
fermented snacks. Brem, solid cake from the dehydrated juice of pressed fermented glutinous rice. Tapai ketan, cooked glutinous rice fermented with yeast, wrapped in banana or rose apple leaves. Usually eaten as is or in a mixed cold dessert. Crackers Rengenang, a traditional rice crackers related to Karapukin addition, glutinous rice dishes adapted from other cultures are easily available. Examples include Q Mosi, Mochi, Japanese, and Bakang, Zongzi, Chinese. Indonesian glutinous rice dishes. Japanese. In Japan, glutinous rice is known as mochigome, mochigome, Japanese. Mochi, it is used in traditional dishes such as sekahan is known as the red rice, okoa, and ohagi. It may also be ground into mochiko, mochi fen a rice flour, used to make mochi, mochi which are known as sweet rice cakes to the non-Japanese, mochi a traditional rice cake prepared for the Japanese New Year but also eaten year-round. See also Japanese rice. Korean in Korea, glutinous rice is called chapsal, hongol, chapsal and its characteristic stickiness is called chalji, hongol. Cooked rice made of glutinous rice is called chalbab, hongol, chabab and rice cakes, hongol, tigdeok, are called chaldeok or chapsaldeok, hongol. Chaltiag, chalbap is used as stuffing and samgatang, hongol. Lao Glutinous rice is the main rice eaten in Laos, see Lao cuisine, where it is known as cow niao, Lao. Cow means rice, and niao means sticky. It is cooked by soaking for several hours and then steaming in a bamboo basket or huat, Lao. After that, it should be turned out on a clean surface and kneaded with a wooden paddle to release the steam. This results in rice balls that will stick to themselves but not to fingers. The large rice ball is kept in a small basket made of bamboo or tip cow, lao. The rice is sticky but dry, rather than wet and gummy like non-glutinous varieties. The fingers of the right hand are used to eat it by wadding the rice. Laotians consume glutinous rice as part of their main diet. They also use toasted glutinous rice cow koa, lao, to add a nut-like flavor to many dishes. A popular Lao meal is a combination of Lao grilled chicken ping kai, Lao, ho Lao papaya salad tam mok hong, Lao, and Lao sticky rice, cow niao. Cow niao has also been used for preparing a popular dish from Laos called name cow, or Laotian crispy rice salad. It is made with deep fried sticky rice balls, chunks of Lao style fermented pork sausage called sam mu, chopped peanuts, grated coconut, sliced scallions or shallots, mint, cilantro, lime juice, fish sauce, and other ingredients. Cow niao is also used as an ingredient in desserts. Cow niao mixed with coconut milk can be served with ripened mango or durian. Khao tom, Lao, has a steamed mixture of khao niao with sliced fruits and coconut milk. Malaysian In Malaysia, glutinous rice is known as pulut. It is usually mixed with santan, coconut milk in English, along with a bit of salt to add some taste. It is widely used during the Raya festive seasons as traditional food, such as Dodal traditional sweets made of glutinous rice flour and coconut sugar. Similar variants are wajik or wajit. Anang anang glutinous rice cracker. Popular in Malacca. Kelupis, a type of glutinous rice kuih in East Malaysia. Katupat square shaped crafts made from the same local leaves as palas, but it is usually filled with regular rice grains instead of pulut, though it depends on the maker. Kochi, Malay Peranakan sweet and sticky Kuih. Lamban, another type of glutinous rice dessert in East Malaysia. Lamang, wrapped in banana leaves and inside a bamboo, and left to be barbecued, grilled on an open fire, to make the taste and texture tender and unique. Pulit inti, wrapped in banana leaf in the shape of a pyramid, this kuih consists of glutinous rice with a covering of grated coconut candied with palm sugar. Pulit pongong, glutinous rice parcels stuffed with a spiced filling, then wrapped in banana leaves and char grilled. 
Depending on the regional tradition, the spiced filling may include pulverized dried prawns, caramelized coconut paste or beef floss. In the state of Sarawak, the local pulit pongong contains no fillings and are wrapped in pandan leaves instead. Tapai cooked glutinous rice fermented with yeast, wrapped in banana, rubber tree or rose apple leaves. Thai In Thailand, glutinous rice is known as kao niao Thai, ka heni lit. Sticky rice. In central Thailand and ISAN, and is kao nung Thai, ka nung lit. Steamed rice. In northern Thailand, northern Thais Lana people, and northeastern Thais traditionally eat glutinous rice as their staple food. Southern and central Thais, and northeastern Thais from Surin province and neighboring areas influenced by the Khmer Thai people favor non-sticky cow chow. Steamed glutinous rice is one of the main ingredients in making the sour fermented pork skinless sausage called name, or its northern Thai equivalent chin som, which can be made from pork, beef, or water buffalo meat. It is also essential for the fermentation process in the northeastern Thai sausage called Sai Krok Isan. This latter sausage is made, in contrast to the first two, with a sausage casing. Sweets and desserts, famous among tourists in Thailand is Khao Niao Mamwang Thai, Ka Heni Mamwang Sweet Coconut Sticky Rice with Mango, while Khao Niao Tat, Sweet Sticky Rice with Coconut Cream and Black Beans, Khao Niao Na Krachik Thai, Ka Heni Na Krachik Sweet Sticky Rice Topped with Caramelized Roasted Grated Coconut, Khao Niao Kyo, Sticky Rice Cooked in Coconut Milk and Sugar and Khao Tom Wa Nok, Sticky Rice Steamed with Banana with Grated Coconut and Sugar, or traditional popular desserts. Khao lam Thai, Khao flam is sticky rice with sugar and coconut cream cooked in specially prepared bamboo sections of different diameters and lengths. It can be prepared with white or dark purple Khao niao dam, varieties of glutinous rice. Sometimes a few beans or nuts are added and mixed in. Thick khao lam containers may have a custard-like filling in the center made with coconut cream, egg and sugar. Khao Kai Thai, Ka Si are cakes of sticky rice having the size and shape of a patty and a crunchy crust. In order to prepare them, the glutinous rice is laced with salt, often also slightly coated with beaten egg, and grilled over a charcoal fire. They were traditionally made with leftover rice and given in the early morning to the children, or to passing monks as offering. Khao Pong Thai, Ka Pong is a crunchy preparation made of leftover steamed glutinous rice that is pounded and pressed into thin sheets before being grilled. Khao Tom Mat Thai, Ka Tom Mad cooked sticky rice mixed with banana and wrapped in banana leaf, Khao Ho, sticky rice molded and wrapped in conical shape, Khao Pradap Din, Kraya Sat and Khao Thip are preparations based on glutinous rice used as offerings in religious festivals and ceremonies for merit making or warding off evil spirits. Khao Niao Ping Thai, Ka Heni Ping Sticky Rice Mixed with Coconut Milk and Taro, Khao Niao Ping Foyok, Banana, Khao Niao Ping Kluai, or Black Beans, Khao Niao Ping Tua, wrapped in banana leaf and grilled slowly over charcoal fire. Glutinous rice is traditionally eaten using the right hand. Khao Kua Thai, Ka Ka Roasted Ground Glutinous Rice, is indispensable for making the northeastern Thai dishes larb, nam tok, and nam chim chio. Some recipes also ask for Khao Kua in certain northern Thai curries. It imparts a nutty flavor to the dishes in which it is used. Name Cluck or Yam Name Khao Thot is a salad made from crumbled deep-fried, curried rice croquettes, and name sausage, Chin Sam Mok is a northern Thai specialty made with grilled, banana leaf-wrapped pork skin that has been fermented with glutinous rice Sai Krok Isan, grilled, fermented pork sausages, specialty of northeastern Thailand Glutinous rice is also used as the basis for the brewing of sado Thai, Satho an alcoholic beverage also known as Thai rice wine Vietnamese Glutinous rice is called Gao Nep in Vietnamese. Dishes made from glutinous rice in Vietnam are typically served as desserts or side dishes, but some can be served as main dishes. There is a wide array of glutinous rice dishes in Vietnamese cuisine. The majority of them can be categorized as follows 
bon, the most diverse category, refers to a wide variety of sweet or savory, distinct cakes, buns, pastries, sandwiches, and food items from Vietnamese cuisine, which may be cooked by steaming, baking, frying, deep frying, or boiling. It is important to note that not all bon are made from glutinous rice, they can also be made from ordinary rice flour, cassava flour, taro flour, or tapioca starch. The word bon is also used to refer to certain varieties of noodles in Vietnam, and absolutely not to be confused with glutinous rice dishes. Some bon dishes that are made from glutinous rice include Bon chung, a square-shaped, boiled glutinous rice dumpling filled with pork and mung bean paste, wrapped in a dong leaf, usually eaten in Vietnamese New Year. Bon Zhe, white, flat, round, glutinous rice cake with tough, chewy texture filled with mung bean or served with Vietnamese sausage, cha, usually eaten in Vietnamese New Year with Bon Chung. Bon Dua, glutinous rice mixed with black bean paste cooked in coconut juice, wrapped in coconut leaf. The filling can be mung bean stir fried in coconut juice or banana. Bon ran, a northern Vietnamese dish of deep-fried glutinous rice balls covered with sesame, scented with jasmine flower essence, filled with either sweetened mung bean paste, the sweet version, or chopped meat and mushrooms, the savory version. Bon cam, a southern Vietnamese version of bon ran. Unlike bon ran, bon cam is coated with a layer of sugary liquid and has no jasmine essence. Bon troy, made from glutinous rice mixed with a small portion of ordinary rice flour. The ratio of glutinous rice flour to ordinary rice flour is typically 9 to 1 or 8 to 2, filled with sugarcane rock candy. Bon gai, made from the leaves of the gai tree, Bomeria nivea, dried, boiled, ground into small pieces, then mixed with glutinous rice, wrapped in banana leaf. The filling is made from a mixture of coconut, mung bean, peanuts, winter melon, sesame, and lotus seeds. Bon com, the cake is made from young glutinous rice seeds. The seeds are put into a water pot, stirred on fire, juice extracted from pomelo flour is added. The filling is made from steamed mung bean, scraped coconut, sweetened pumpkin, and sweetened lotus seeds. Other bon made from glutinous rice are bon tro, bon tate, bon yu, bon mang, bon it, bon kuk, bon tu, bon in, bon deo, bon su se, bon no. Zoi are sweet or savory dishes made from steamed glutinous rice and other ingredients. Sweet zoi are typically eaten as breakfast. Savory zoi can be eaten as lunch. Zoi dishes made from glutinous rice include Zoi la cam, made with the magenta plant. Zoya Ladua, made with pandan leaf extract for the green color and a distinctive pandan flavor. Zoy Chian Fong, deep fried glutinous rice patty. Zoy Ga, made with coconut juice and pandan leaf served with fried or roasted chicken and sausage. Zoy Thap Cam, made with dried shrimp, chicken, Chinese sausage, Vietnamese sausage, cha, peanuts, coconut, onion, fried garlic. Other zoi dishes made from glutinous rice include zoi lak, zoi lua, zoi do sun, zoi nephthan, zoi gak, zoi vo, zoi san, zoi sao riang, zoi kuk, zoi zao, zoi ka, zoi v. Che refers to any traditional Vietnamese sweetened soup or porridge. Though che can be made using a wide variety of ingredients, some che dishes made from glutinous rice include Che Do Trang, made from glutinous rice and black-eyed peas. Che Con Ong, made from glutinous rice, ginger root, honey, and molasses. Che Kam, made from young glutinous rice seeds, kudzu flour, and juice from pomelo flour. Che Zoi Nu, balls made from mung bean paste in a shell made of glutinous rice flour, served in a thick clear or brown liquid made of water, sugar, and grated ginger root. Kam nep, glutinous rice that is cooked in the same way as ordinary rice, except that the water used is flavored by adding salts or by using coconut juice, or soups from chicken broth or pork broth. Kam ro, glutinous rice balls cooked and mixed with yeast, served in a small amount of rice wine. 
Kam lamb, glutinous rice cooked in a tube of bamboo of the genus Niahauzua and often served with grilled pork or chicken. Glutinous rice can also be fermented to make Vietnamese alcoholic beverages, such as ro nep, ro can, and ro de. Beverages Chowja Sato, rice wine, Home brew sato kits, Ro nep. Rokan Non-food uses According to legend, glutinous rice was used to make the mortar in the construction of the Great Wall of China. Chemical tests have confirmed that this is true for the city walls of Xi'an. In Assam also, this rice was used for building palaces during Ahom rule. Glutinous rice starch is often used as a vegetarian glue or adhesive. See also References External links A video about how to make sticky rice on YouTube